Hi guys, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Texas taking on the Colts. Now this game is very much important for one simple reason. Either you win and you get in the playoffs or you lose and you go home. It's very simple. And I just got finished watching a little bit of the game. I didn't watch too much. I don't, I didn't really watch the fourth quarter. I saw like the ending, but I didn't watch it. So I will be reacting to the fourth quarter of this game. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. To me, it is a first down. Everything was up and that ball ended up at the 23. Or 0 for 7 on third down. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, and here it is. <laughs> Shane has won two of his three challenges this season as far as. I know Derek Mobley is from Indiana, but yeah, but let's boil her up, baby. Just north of here. Here, here as we look at it, I guess the only question would be was the knee. You know, that looks like it'll be a first down. And yeah, that's a, a yeah, like it's a first they down. They went 12 and one and their only loss was to Gardner Minshew. That don't undersell Gardner Minshew. He's, he's played in some big games. Yeah, I, I mean, he he's grit. Okay, so they got the call. Importantly, Jonathan Taylor is oh, what's wrong with Taylor? Games, Stroud and Minshew, Texans, Colts, they have not disappointed. They in games quite like this with, with the playoff berth on the line. But no, I said it out. The loser of this game, you just... You just hate to see it happen because you want them both to win. And then these two teams yeah. anticipated being in the mix for the post. Here is Moss. He's oh, good tackle. With Tier Tart. I'm not gonna lie. I think I like the Texas defense. Get a free five, and the Texans do not jump. Has a shot at the and the Texas in the playoffs. See that bottom line. They they could be one of those teams where they creep up on you. With Miami hosting Buffalo right now, Jacksonville and for Cleveland. What a year, Kevin Stefanski. And now they won their game earlier, but they need help. You know, Are you today? Oh yeah, Pittsburgh did get in. NFL year after year, and if you guys did not watch T.J. Watt in in the game against uh Ravens, he got injured. I forgot what they said. I think it was a kill that they said he he got or or something similar to that. So prayers out to uh, T.J. Watt that he makes a speedy recovery. Man, one of my favorite players to watch. One of my favorite one of my favorite players to watch when he not facing my team because he he's look nineteen sacks this season, six straight Pro Bowls, one of two players since nineteen eighty four with nineteen plus sacks in multiple seasons. The only other one is one of the best to do it, J.J. Watt. Team in the position that they're in, good for him. Here is Former Moss. Houston. Can't get to the. We have talked Texan. about him a lot. He's made a lot of plays in this game. He's tied for the team lead. He's played since he came to Houston. Third and nine. Over the middle, pass is caught. Yeah, Joe, we saw Jonathan Taylor walk back to the locker room with the training staff. I battling that. So for a field goal? Back, so they lose him. And this will be a 35 yarder. Kick is up, Which and it's good. Automatic. In in Two young teams battling with what a game. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. This game did not disappoint me. I ain't really know what to expect at this game. I knew it was going to be some offense, but I ain't know it was going to be like this. I mean, on the first play, I look up in Houston and score. Right now we're tied. And the Texans about to get the ball back. That is a nice stadium. Lucas Oriole Stadium. What's your favorite stadium? What? Hey. I want to know this. What stadium do you think looks the best in the NFL? Like, if one stadium, and do not pick your favorite team. Pick, pick a pick. If it's your rival, you know. Me personally, 
I like the Raiders. I know the Rams one is like the the obvious one for a lot of people, but I, the Raiders one to me just I don't know. The Vegas, it's I don't know. I just like the Lucas Oil Stadium is right there too. We had a 98 yard return for a touchdown against Cleveland two weeks ago. We'll give it a shot. Uh oh. And a good return okay. across the 20. Solid return right there. Of 30 yards. Outside. Former Bengal. Aerial coverage is brought to you by Goodyear, a city that hosted Super Bowl 46. Game that was won by the Giants over the Patriots, a good one, 21-17. Nope, Lucas Oil Stadium is out of my top three. That was a great week when they hosted the Super Bowl here in it was, Indianapolis. I, I will say that this we ain't got to bring up that 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 game. Off to them because they do know how to put on a big event. Whenever they do, they've had a lot of experience doing it, but they always do it right. Stroud. Able to complete. Sorry about the quality, also, guys. Andrew Beck, who has a touchdown tonight for eight. First half went about as good as it could for CJ Stroud. Second half, different story so far with 13 minutes to go. Yeah, they just had 40 yards of offense in this second half. So all the struggles that we saw from Indianapolis in that first half really has kind of transferred over to Houston here in this second half. Uh, ball game, 17-17. Handoff and a first down carry by Singletary. That's good Dude, patience. I always like Singletary. And, and Former Bill. You know, creating big Excuse plays me. And former Bill. You get them. I've always That's liked him and Madden. Let me tell you guys something. Him and Madden. If you get him and Madden right now, he going crazy. Both these teams, the, he can the catch out the backfield the and he can run through the tackles. Try. You can double move these outside corners and, and take a shot. Now, Gus Bradley, they play a lot of zone. They play a lot of single high safety. He has been mixing in a little bit more coverage. To try to help out these corners, and of course now with Juju Brents out of the lineup, blitz coming off the edge and down. Oh the my goodness! Ronnie Harrison Jr. The he had no chance at all. Him too late. Well, he sees it late, and Ronnie Harrison times this up really well. He's taken over at the safety position, and with Stroud having his back to him, he feels it there, but he had no chance. So when he comes out, he didn't anticipate it. No chance. Look at this. Right there. 63 was a little bit too slow. Stroud, you know, was slow to read it. It was a great job by, by the Colts. Free agent addition for this Second season. and 20. Weak side linebacker back at safety. Underneath it, Schultz broke one uh -oh. on second and 20. And okay. This a third and manageable. Oh, it's a, the miss. That's, that's, that's a that's great a job. That's a great job making the man miss. Man for Juju Brantz, and that's 10 more yards. That makes this a, a, a that call sheet got a whole lot bigger with this miss tackle here. Facts. By Baker. Texans hurry it up, third down and three. Stroud. Got him. Catch. First Too down easy. Houston. It's Schultz. Yeah, really nice, really nice catch by Dalton Schultz. It should have been a lot easier than what it was, but he's able to adjust to it. That's a good job. You talked about what he was able to do in Dallas. He was one of Dak Prescott's favorite receivers. Now that's Jake Ferguson, who's had a heck of a year, but... I know that CJ Stroud, when you're a young quarterback, those tight ends, those guys that work the tight end is your best friend, young girl. Uh oh, uh oh. Flag on the play is uh, just probably coming back, probably gonna be holding. Jones was out there defending. Here's the call from Bill Vinovich. Holding office number 47. 10 yard penalty. Damn, Houston, you're doing it to yourself. That's Andrew Beck. He's gotten a little action tonight. He got the touchdown when they left him wide open. You see him at the top, number 47. And as soon as Singletary starts to go outside. Ah, uh, yeah, that's an easy call. That's typically what happens. You feel like you're losing the defender. It's because of what's happening behind you with the back. and uh, the natural. It's such a tough position for where he's at. Penalty 
because you don't know where Singletary is at. You can kind of feel, but you it's it's just a tough tough place to be in. First and twenty as a result. Uh oh, there's Schultz. Okay. Got the first down catch and now picks up six here on first and twenty. Well, you know, I mean, we saw CJ Stroud missed, missed that tackle. The, has or, been you know, amazing. I mean, coming year. out of Ohio State, I, I that last game against Georgia, that really put a lot of people on notice about him. Uh-oh. No way. <laughs> what? With a diving catch. Collins no way. It looked like Stroud was just throwing it away. That's a throw away. You can't even imagine how good this is. This throw is about a 40 yard throw by the time he's able to set up. And <laughs> tired of investing so much into your YouTube channel only to see your hard work go unnoticed. Yeah. Again, this is when you know it's just meant to be. It. Look at this. He when things like this happen, you just know it's not it's not meant to be for Colts and it's meant to be for Houston. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. He's had eight targets, eight catches, 172 yards tonight. What? Eight catches. Eight eight targets, eight catches over a hundred yards. A gain of five. They may get the Colts for 12 guys on the field. Steichen was talking to the Oh, official. my goodness. 12 men on the field? Come on. You had home. They were against the play clock trying to get the ball snapped. Two flags are down. There's no foul on the play. The offense subs. The defense has a right to match up. We're just going to play it over. Okay. Well, now that means they're going to play it over, and that wipes away a five-yard carry on first down by Singletary. Yeah. Again, we're with a substitution issue. At the 40-yard line, first down. But to play it over... Well, mechanically, the umpire needed to stay over the ball with the substitution, which would allow the defender to get off the field. So, in other words, it's a mechanical error in the officiating department, which does create the do-over. Yeah, and, and a good job by them with the do-over. So, first down and 10, play action from Stroud. Uh-oh. A screen for uh Oh, Schultz. Oh, got a tight end screen. Oh, and the tackle Ooh, and okay, I like those. Nick Cross made the stop. And, Troy, think of what... I would love to see more of that in the playoffs. The tight end screen, I think that could be key. And a first and 20 after the hold by Beck. And here they are, second and Chiefs going to pull out something you ain't never seen before. So, that's... It really is. No, they... The Colts have gotten the... They might have Travis Kelsey as a quarterback. He pitches it to Mahomes. Mahomes then throws it back to Kelsey. And then he throws it to somebody up. Like, some, some shit like that will happen. Second and one. Here is Singletary. Uh oh, got him. Houston. So Post run defense got to got to be better. And a first down you know they're going to run it. Yeah, and you get down here, obviously. And you still can't stop it. Field goal range and and the Colts, you know, with seven and a half minutes to go and clock running, you just. It's okay that they've overcome that. Now, can you make a stop and, and at least force a, a field goal attempt and not anymore? Stay on the ground. Tackles made. By okay, there you go. Speed. He's been busy tonight. Speed kills. Three as he brings down Singletary. Yeah, it's really a good play by EJ Speed. He's unblocked. But That's he's the really pursuit the you need. Open field. Look at this. this. Great open field really tackle. Sells. He usually makes a guy miss. I mean, he's so good. That is an outstanding With open field tackle. Ability to, to make defenders you have seen, ball, how many times have you seen somebody whiffs at that? Especially when Singletary is the one that you got to tackle. That's a guarantee he breaking that tackle. George Fant is taken back over a right tackle for the Texans. Uh oh. Pass is caught. Collins, Ooh. first and goal. And a flag 
at the end of the play on the tackle. Tyquan Lewis with pressure may have been a horse collar on the tackle at the end of it. Personal foul, horse collar tackle, defense number 48, half an into the goal. Wow. That's Ronnie Harrison Jr. who had a sack. Close going out. On this drive. Man. Well, C.J. Stroud, I mean, this drive is, I, I don't want to say a defining drive, but it's been awfully good. He's got pressure. He hangs in there. He's not Look at this. Hangs in, in there. Come on now. Because Tyquan Lewis is right there. But he That's what you want your franchise quarterback to do. Look at this. He puts the ball Great in route, too. Spot. And there's the horse collar. And a, a Come on. Play. Moves the ball inside the five, just outside the three, first and goal. Carry by oh, he in. Touchdown. Wow. What a drive engineered by the rookie quarterback, C.J. Stroud. And a three-yard touchdown run for Devin Singletary. His fourth touchdown of the season. Well, and this is what Devil, Devin Singletary does. You're going to see that he's got this jump cut right there where he's avoiding hmm. the tight end. Eric Sauber. We've always loved how patient he is. Look at this. And you watch the little jump cut. At Buffalo all the time when you watch him play. Look at that. Bam. And, doing it, and he ran right you know, through the really tackle. Come on now. One of my favorite season. running backs to watch. Kick is up. However, the extra point is yanked wide wow. left. To me, there's no reason why you should miss an extra point in the indoor football stadium. There's no open the roof, especially in the, in, uh, with the Colts. There's no open the roof. They're in your indoors. And the first extra point missed on the year by Fairbairn. First, what he plays in the indoor state. The snap. Mobile games are going big. Free Fire Max is now. A it was and then pulled. Snap may have been high. His first miss on an extra point this season, and instead of a seven-point game, big. Six point lead. Big. And how about that drive by this is huge. Seven for seven, Pause. Yards. And they overcome some because they only down Colts is only down by six goes. now. What a time to miss an extra point, point when your playoff spot is on the line. To doubtful to return, and the injury designation was changed. Oh, he back. Okay, to an ankle injury, but then he just good to see Taylor back. A couple years ago, yeah, and, and Troy, you and I were watching him on the side. Who was during the break out of his mind? Which was uh, it was fun to watch because he was psyching himself up. He was, yeah, he was nodding his head. He knows, he knows he's going to, he, it's going to ride on him. You know, Minshew's going to have to make some plays too. But this offensive line, and it's a big, big loss with Braden Smith out at right tackle as well. No, oh, there's Pitman. I'm about to say, where Pitman at? Blake Freeland is taking over oh. right tackle. Here he is and bottled up in the back. Absolutely field. nowhere. Taylor by Petrie. A loss of one. And before they headed out to work, Jonathan Taylor was on the sideline trying to fire himself up with the bad heel, the bad ankle, and a loss of one. To oh, it's an ankle. Uh, for running back, that's, I mean, that's. It's tough, especially the way he runs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, good cut. Oh, my goodness. Oh, snap. Well, we've seen... Got to make the tackle. He's dialed up a few blitzes, and he brings Petrie again. He brings him here. But he's throwing the ball to the Got way, to make the tackle. Coverage. And so they get the ball to the guy. Especially in man coverage. Downs, Look at this. Don't make that tackle. And this is why the Texans have given up big plays. They've just not. They've, they've blown coverages. They haven't been able to make tackles at times this season. This time, Desmond King, who's in man coverage on downs, not able to get him to the ground in a big game. 
Kareem Jackson missed a tackle on the play as well. Under five to go. Taylor back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Derek Barnett, former Philadelphia Eagle, was in there and not alone on that stop. Second down. Well, as we know, the, the missed extra point is big. And I know what Shane Steichen wants to do. He wants to run Jonathan Taylor, and he wants to run the four-minute offense and take it down the field and milk the clock and score with very little time left and make their extra point. But, boy, Houston's not giving up much ground in the run game right now. Here's Downs again. Ooh, good hit. Down coming up as Stuck Downs is to the like 44 those. again of four. Perryman made that tackle. Well, now you've got a third down, and it's hard to believe, but the Colts have yet to convert a third down in this game. And they haven't converted a third I down. They just I've ever heard of a what? team winning a football game if they didn't convert a third down. Has that ever happened? The 2020 a team winning the game and have not converted a third down. I'm sure it has, but that's just that's crazy. And they hand it off, Taylor. And this is they gonna give it to him. I ain't gonna lie, it look like he kind of hit him in his helmet. To be just short of first down yardage. Yeah, and you've got the center Ryan Kelly, who looked like he got banged up pretty good on the play. Hey, look, his hands, hands in the face. I mean, it don't matter anymore because that's all matter first down. Texas now doing it to themselves. God damn. And a season high 11th penalty in the game on Houston. And a no doubter. Yeah, no. <laughs> My goodness. Is that the vernacular you officials use? Yeah, when we write those up, we say a no doubter prolonger. First down at the 34. Back to Taylor. Didn't look like there was a solid run. No. Somehow he ends up getting four. No, he's I, I love the guy and what he's able to do. And I, I hate it for all running backs in our league that, you know, they've had to really kind of walk a hard line and trying to get paid but Jonathan Taylor if there is a guy he's certainly the one that deserves it but yeah that's that you know, that's true that's 100 percent running backs deserve more start thinking about when he wants to start that's just my opinion I don't know how much more but they deserve a lot more there's no question especially guys like Taylor toss to Taylor I mean, this this Houston run defense is playing. Why did they mind on this drop? On third down and five, a long five. But we saw Will Anderson Jr. go to the sideline. He's playing through a high ankle sprain. He's given his team all he can give. And now Denzel Perryman is down. They're a middle linebacker, and he needs assistance. Before third down and five. Well, that gives that gives Shane Steichen a lot more time to think about this call. There's Perryman six in the middle. Uh, arm extended. Looks like friendly fire. And he uh, got the worst of it. Damn. Well, and the other part of this too is that you know they've got two downs to pick this up. They stick with Jonathan Taylor. Or... I mean, you think about all that goes. Yeah, he into probably it. got a stinger. Off-season training, training camp, season starts, injuries, trying to fill out a roster, trying to. I convert this third and five. And it comes down to two minutes and forty-one. Unless seconds, Houston these two teams is going gets the another penalty, is going to head home. Happy about the season, but broken hearted about tonight. Yeah, and you know, you've said it, Joe. N neither of these teams could have imagined being in this position. It's a shame that someone is going to lose, but they both have had great I mean, years. That's how it is, though. The winner, boy, there's going to be a surge that carries it's always a win, is always a loser. No matter what happens once they get into the postseason, they do stick with Taylor. Lowers his oh my god and just wills his way near the first down but he's oh man straight 
That's a first down. Oh, they called it short. Okay, they gave it to him. Okay. And and what's interesting is when the Colts thought it was short. Oh, they can't challenge. Houston can't challenge. It's got to go upstairs. It's under two minutes. We were outside the two. We were outside the two-minute warning on the play. Right? If this is going to be challenged, it would have to come from the Texans sideline. Oh no no no! They oh under um guys, I did see the ending. I'm sorry that the ending is not in this reaction. I'm trying to make sure this gets uploaded on time. So uh, if you guys did not watch the ending, uh, basically the Colts had a chance. Uh, it was thrown out to the running back and uh, Mitch Mitchell, the stash, the stash guy. I can't remember his. I can't remember his name. He, if he puts it on him, it was a bad throw. I mean, he's coming. The running back is coming out of his break, right? He's turning. But he's still coming out of his break. And the ball was thrown. It, it had to be a better throw. It, it's a catchable ball, but the throw has to be better. If they get that, they convert the first down. And who knows? Who knows? The Colts could be could be in the playoffs right now, for all we know. But it was on, and they're also on fourth down. So but that's going to do it for me, guys. Congratulations to the Houston, Texas. Ah, oh, man. I mean, they've been a fun team to watch. CJ Stroud has, I mean, the expectations for this Houston team was not there. But for me, I knew CJ was going, was going to flourish, in my opinion, from watching him at Ohio State. I mean, dude is a baller. You hear me? A straight up baller. And he showed it on the national stage. So shout out to him. Shout out to uh, the Houston, Texas, Texans, excuse me. And it's going to be interesting to see them in the playoffs. Because if I'm a team in, that's already locked up my playoff spot, I'm a little worried. Because a team like that is a, one of the most dangerous teams when it comes to the playoffs. Because you always get one team either on the AFC side, NFC side, and nobody is picking. And they go all the way. It's in point, the Bengals. Nobody thought they would be the, uh, the Chiefs at Chiefs. What happened? They went to Super Bowl. Not trying to say they text the the Houston's going to go to Super Bowl, but I'm just saying it could happen. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this reaction. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.